In an effort to get traction among LA's elites after Meghan Markle's calculated Instagram launch of her new lifestyle brand, Prince Harry has started going skiing with a Kardashian's bow. In the company of business executive Corey Gamble, 43, the 39-year-old Duke of Sussex is rumored to have been savoring the pleasures of Aspen, America's most opulent ski resort, located in Colorado. Kris Jenner, the 68-year-old mother of American television celebrities Kim, Courtney, and Khloe Kardashian, is married to Gamble. She also has two daughters, Kendall and Kylie Jenner, from her second husband Bruce, who is currently Caitlyn Jenner. According to a source, Harry had been skiing with Gamble, Whitney Wolf, 34, and her husband Michael Hurd, whom she had met on a prior skiing trip, as well as millionaire Whitney Wolf through the Bumble dating app. But Meghan hasn't been spotted on the slopes, she's been too busy reinventing herself as an internet celebrity with the cooking and lifestyle business American Riviera Orchard. The private jet that Harry and Meghan took to Las Vegas in November to see music sensation Katy Perry, who lives next door in California, perform is owned by Texan Oil Air Herd. When Wolf launched Bumble in 2021, she became the youngest woman to become a billionaire in the world. The app is unique in that women initiate contact with male matches, valued at $7 billion on its initial public offering. The Duchess was spotted traveling with friends to the Powder Mountain Resort outside Salt Lake City, Utah, at the end of February, although it is not believed that she shares the Duke's passion for downhill winter sports. Harry has been skiing with Corey, the person claimed. They have been going to one of the more well-known speakeasies in the evenings and skiing throughout the day. Harry was not at home on Thursday when he prepared for his controversial virtual appearance at the Diana Legacy Awards, which were held in a different part of London from the venue where his brother, Prince William, presented the awards to the honorees. Across town from the Science Museum, where William had demonstrated actual gongs, the background of his call into the Waterloo Hilton depicted a wooden lodge-style structure with a stone fireplace over his shoulder. The Duke has experienced skiing. In 2011, he was seen on the slopes in Verbier, Switzerland, and was taken skiing with his brother William by his father, Prince Charles, when he was a little lad. Despite his mother Princess Diana's dislike of the winter holidays, he talked of his passion of skiing in his controversial book Spare, which was shortlisted for two British book awards. It meant that he would always feel crippled by guilt for doing something his mother detested, especially if he went skiing again, as he did with his ex-girlfriend Cressida Bonus. He attributes his emotional opening to her on a skiing trip when they were on vacation in Switzerland. He cried for the first time since his mother's funeral. Skiing was so precious for us, so symbolic, especially after our previous skiing holiday, in Switzerland, when she'd, Cressida, suddenly opened me up, he said in his autobiography. It happened late one evening following an exciting après ski and a tiring day on the slopes. After returning to my cousin's chalet, where we were staying, I was sitting on the edge of the bath while Cress was washing her face and teeth. I seem to remember that we were discussing nothing particularly noteworthy until she inquired about my mother. I responded to her directly before breaking down in tears. He continued, glibly mentioning that their ski excursions usually resulted in a revelation that it was during another ski trip that he realized the relationship had ended. As part of a preview event for the Invictus Winter Games in Whistler, Canada, Harry was also seen trying his hand at sit skiing. The Duke smiled as he was led by an instructor on a downhill run in the unique chair designed for use by impaired athletes competing in skiing competitions. It has been speculated that Harry's snow-related misadventures may result in a Kardashian-Meghan partnership as Meghan launches her new line of clothing. The glamorous Instagram video that debuted at American Riviera Orchard on Thursday included Meghan Markle whisking in a gorgeous rustic kitchen and a woman arranging flowers, all set to the jazz singer Nancy Wilson's song I Wish You Love. It is understood that a trademark application has been filed for products that could carry the brand name, including cookbooks, cutlery, coffee, jams, and butters, as well as a real store where Meghan's goods might be sold. Since its debut one day ago, the Instagram account, whose biography reads, by Meghan, 
the Duchess of Sussex, has amassed almost 421,000 followers. According to insiders, it will take place in tandem with a brand new culinary program on Netflix, which is a component of the $100 million agreement the Sussexes signed with the streaming service in 2020. Books and blogs are expected to follow. PR experts advise her to have taken advantage of the Mother's Day Photoshop controversy involving Kate Middleton to make a social media comeback. Professional PR strategist Mark Borkowski claimed that the Duchess had calculated the date of the debut, crashing the Diana Legacy Awards while simultaneously hanging over the ongoing controversy around the altered photo of the Princess of Wales. Of course they plan to launch it at this time, he continued. It was computed. They are aware of the dangers of making noise online. Anything that is being launched needs to generate a lot of curiosity. So why not time it to coincide with the Diana Legacy Awards? It is similar to what Kanye West is doing at the moment, which is wreaking havoc left, right, and center. The Photoshop event seems to have happened at an odd time, I believe it was all related to this week. This could make a mark for them if they can succeed with this in the same way they didn't with Netflix and Spotify and get a range of products the public like. The Sussexes, in my opinion, do nothing by accident and timing is often absolutely pivotal, royal analyst Richard Fitzwilliam stated, they have been unpredictable for years, but they have been consistent in one way, they always seem to know exactly when they think it will be best to release material. Nothing they do is accidental.